Okay, quick tour on how we process semen here at Prairie State. As you can see, Jason, our collector here, has just got done collecting a boar. He is labeling the boar and uh, passing through the little McDonald's pass-through window we have here. One of our lab girls will then take it back and we will begin processing the semen. So we follow Marissa back here into the lab. You can see that she is uh, removing the top portion of this bag. Marissa, will you show us that uh, top part there? You can see that this is a, uh, a cheesecloth filter that is uh, engraved into our collection bag and that allows us to uh, take out the gel caplets that come uh, during the bore collection. Gel caplets in the uh, bore semen collection will actually be a good source of bacteria and bacteria greatly reduces longevity of our, uh, of our extended semen. So it's very important for us to, uh, to separate those particles out. So Marissa is now going to uh, um, take care of the rest of the collection here. She is uh, you know, basically taking the, the semen right now in the bag and she's weighing it. And the weight is very important for us because we have to know the volume of semen that was produced and we're also going to need to know the semen concentration. So she will be uh, preparing a sample to put into the SQAVP semen processing computer here. Um, this, the computer which is right to uh, uh, the right hand side there behind Marissa, behind her right arm, is the brand new $23,500 computer system that was based, um, excuse me, that was built, designed by the best word, over in Israel. It was designed by MES, Medical Electronic Sciences, and uh, was primarily designed for use in uh, biomedical work for male fertility clinics and hospitals. Since that time they have uh, ventured out into the livestock world and uh, also sell uh, swine, cattle, horse, and I believe some other machines. So this is a very uh, interesting computer. Not only will it give us the, uh, the sperm concentration, uh, it also gives us motility and morphology. Um, so it's a very uh, handy computer for us to uh, help us to analyze the sperm quality, the semen quality that we ship out to you on a daily basis. This, uh, this machine is based totally on algorithms. Uh, someone much smarter than you and I came up with a system where uh, the uh, percentage of movement in each of the sperm cells is measured um, by light going uh, through a field. So it's a very complex system. Uh, not only does it allow us to determine motility and morphology, but it also has a specialized function which we enjoy, which is the video camera, so that we can take samples off of every collection and store them here in our facility. That way, if you have any collections that, uh, or questions on any collections you get at, the, at your house, we can always just email you a sample of the bore quality from that particular day. It, t it typically takes about 30 to 45 seconds for each sample to run through the computer. Uh, we have proprietary, excuse me, proprietary software that also came with it. You can see over here on the computer that is referred to as P-Sperm that was also written by MES. And uh, that makes it handy for us to go back and at any time we can go back and pull the records from any collection and we can find out the volume, the concentration, the semen quality, as well as access old video scores. Um, so from an organization standpoint, it makes it a lot easier using this computer than it does to uh, do everything the old way like we used to with paper. So Marissa is now pulling up the results here. And uh, one of the other good things about this computer, uh, most time when people are processing semen, they put in a certain amount of uh, billions of cells per dose. Well, we can kind of modify that. We can kind of do that backwards here. We can uh, put the, uh, the capillary into the machine here, and I'll see if I can zoom in on that so you can see it. But we can actually look at the semen quality before we determine the number of doses. You know, as we can see here on this collection, this collection is really swimming really well. So. Uh, Marissa is going to make 16 doses from this collection and uh, she'll type in the number there. She will save about a 10 second video of this uh, collection after she is uh, um, done writing down the numbers. You'll see her writing on the little orange sticker here. That's for uh, her information as we get ready to pour extender into it. On that little orange sticker she will write um, the volume of extender that needs to be poured into that collection as well as the number of doses that will be made and uh, she is now going in and saving the, the uh, video there. It's a really simple process right there on the computer. And that video there will be the ones that, uh, if you had a question on any of the collections here, that we would email to you. She will now take the cup 
with the bag of semen in it over to the extender counter and she will pour in the extender that is necessary to make the number of doses that the computer has just told us to make. Um, the extender that we use here at Prairie State is called Preserve XLT. Preserve XLT is a great extender for uh, uh, long-term uh, for long-term storage. On average, if you keep it at the right temperature, uh, 70 to 80 percent of the bores here at Prairie State are going to last seven to ten days. So it's very important to keep it in that 60 to 65 degree window. This is a water bath. This water bath is heated up to 37.3 degrees Celsius and you can see Marissa pulling out a big bag of, big bag of extender that was mixed up here this morning. Um, she makes sure that the extender is uh, uh, mixed up and that it's uh, not too much in one particular part of the bag. And She is now pouring in the extender into this 